गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स माई ऑडिबल एंड विजिबल गिव मी द क्लियरेंस माई ऑडिबल एंड विजिबल प्लीज ओके Shall we start? Okay, good. So, shall we start? करेंगे आज का session. Thank you very much. Once again, a good e- good evening to all of you. Welcome to PW Platform, our crash course on algorithms. Yesterday we had a discussion on time complexities. और आज के session में हम divide and conquer के ऊपर बात करेंगे. लेकिन जैसे मैंने पिछले session में कहा था कि we will have the balance problem solving part of time complexity right per per uh, prominently concentrating on the recursive framework and some loop complexities fir uske baad space complexity bhi dekhenge hum very short while and then we'll start the discussion on divide and conquer yeah i'm having slight uh, cold that's why my voice is down so it's okay but i can manage no issue chaliye uh, we'll start with this problem we'll start with this problem read this question is an interesting one based on time complexity see whether you can work out thank you thank you siddhant take this problem try and tell me the answer read it carefully it's a problem related to time complexities kya prashant good good evening problem solve kijiye based on time complexity two packages are available for processing a database having 10 power x records package a actually this should be capital a i'm rewriting it here package a takes a time of 10 into n log n log is to base 10 while package b takes a time of 0.0001 n square for processing actually this is mistake they have typed incorrectly for processing n records i'm correcting the mistakes for processing n records determine the smallest integer x for which package a outperforms package b चलिए let's try to interpret this there is a database which has got n is equal to 10 power x records there are two packages a and b aap maan lijiye packages are nothing but like algorithms right the so package a takes a time of uh, for example 10 into n log n to base 10 and package b take a time of 0.0001 n square so main ye batana cha raha hu ki agar aap yahan par directly order of magnitude le lenge so this is nothing but order of n log n and if you take the order of this will be order of n square so straight away you can say that package a is better than package b लेकिन यहां पर दिस कांस्टेंट प्ले अ वेरी वाइटल रोल पॉइंट जीरो 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 वन एन पॉइंट जीरो जीरो वन विच इज ऑलमोस्ट टेन पॉर माइनस फोर सो इफ यू कीप ऑन टेकिंग वैल्यूज ऑफ एन फॉर एग्जांपल वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू टेक एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू एन स्क्वायर इफ यू फाइंड द टाइम टेकन बाई पैकेज एन इफ यू फाइंड द टाइम टेकन बाई पैकेज बी यू विल फाइंड दैट द टाइम टेकन बाई पैकेज बी विल विलेस दैन ए देखिए आप कर, करके देखिए आप 10 into n log n, 10 into n, n is 10 square into log n, log of 10 square. So this will become uh, like, uh, for example, this is 100 into 10,000, 2,000 units. While package B is 10 power minus 4 into 10 square whole square. So this is just one unit. So what I'm trying to say, even though. the order of n square and that is order of n log n because of this factor 10 power minus 4 is going to 
take or become a very less value. So package B is better than package A when n is equal to 10 power 2 records. Usi tarah 10 power 3, 10 power 4, if you try to keep on working, a point will come because slowly this will increase. Slowly this will increase. And a point will come where after some number of records, package A starts performing better than package B. Wahi poochh raha is question mein, okay, what is that smallest integer x? What is that smallest integer x? Such that package A starts performing better than package B. So one person has given the answer so far. What about others? Come on, I would like you to work out first. Kya hoga iska answer? What will be the answer for this question? Khadir has given x equal to 6. What about others? You cannot apply, you cannot solve it sequentially by taking next x equal to 3, x equal to 4, x equal to 5 like that. No. You cannot work out like that. There should be a strategic approach for solving this problem. So what should be that approach? Any idea? Equate. We want the value of package A, which is 10 into n log n to base 10, to be performing better means its value, this value should be less than 0.0001 n square. Is it not? That means take the value of n is equal to 10 power x, substitute here. So this becomes 10 into 10 power x into log of 10 power x to base 10, less than 10 power minus 4 into 10 power x whole square. So this will become x into 10 power x into 10 becoming less than 10 power 2x by 10 power 4. So 10 power x cancels here with 1 10 power x and uh, if I bring this 10 to the other side this will become like x is less than 10 power x divided by 10 power 5. 10 power 5. So this become my equation. I have to solve. Yeah, Bhagavad Dari, good evening. I have to solve for x and get the minimum value. Yeah, it's a get question, please. I have to solve for minimum value of x for which this inequality is satisfied. If you take x equal to 5, look at this. If you take x equal to 5, 5 is less than 10 power 5 by 10 power 5. Right hand side will become 1. 5 is not less than 1. If you take 6, 6 is less than 10 power 6 divided by 10 power 5. Yes, because this is 10, 6 is less than 10. So, the first time when the inequality is satisfied is when x is equal to 6. So, therefore, that's how you get the minimum value of x is nothing but 6. That's the question. That's the answer. Okay? So, let's go Look at this question and tell me what is the correct answer for this. This is based on direct uh, concept of asymptotic notations. Direct concept of asymptotic notation. Direct definitions. It's a very simple question. I hope many of you can work out and tell me. He's saying which of the following is true. Is or R, you take it, is or R. We'll make it like MSQ. Be careful, please. Is or R true? Avnish, check your answer again. Avnish, check your answer again. 
three thumbs when you are saying ABCD, all are true. Please check it. Three thumb. Come on, let's try to understand. It is given that F is order of G. Right? So from this analogy, I will say F is less than or equal to G. I mean, by this. But here it is saying G is not, look at that, G is not order of F of N. So I should modify this. So from this G is not order of F of N, it implies definitely, definitely that F is less than G. So from these two claims, I can definitely conclude that F is less than G because G is not order of F. F is definitely less than G. Okay? Right. G is order of H of N. G of N is equal to order of H of N. And H of N is order of G of N. So this happens only when both are same. This implies that G is equal to H. So therefore from these inequalities what I can form my relation as F is less than G is equal to H. This is my final conclusion. The final relation that I can establish is this. Clear? So F is less than G is equal to H. Got it? Say, ye baat to say, ye na, thik hai na? Chali, ab yahan par aap ka question le lije. F is order of H, F is definitely order of H because F is order of G. So, uska matlab ye hai ki F is order of H because G is equal to H. So, therefore, this is true. F plus H, look at this. F plus H. F plus H. Is order of G of is, is equal to order of G plus H. Will this be true or not? Definitely, this will be true. Is a root true hoga? Kyon hoga? Because F is less than G. And F is less than H. So, definitely, this function will be greater than this. So therefore, this is true. H of n is not order of f of n. Look at, look at that. F or H of n is not order because h is greater than f. Since g is greater than f, h is greater than f. So therefore, h cannot be order of f of n. So therefore, this is also true. F into g will be a smaller function than g into h. So definitely, this will be order of this. So therefore, this is false. That is false. So those who said a, b, c, they are right. D is false. Okay? So this is the answer for the question. Shall we aage badenge? Now I am taking up the case of uh, time complexities. Of recursive algorithms. Some of these, some of these, because I cannot take being crash course. Just I will tell you a framework, a general procedure, and then we go ahead. The gate question basically. Look at this algorithm. Algorithm what of n, if n is equal to 1, return else what of n minus 1, b of n. Here we will be given that, assume that, let b of n, let b of n is equal to order of n. Then can anybody tell me? what will be the time complexity or what is the procedure for uh, deriving the time complexity of this recursive algorithm. I am sure you understand that this is the recursive call. For a value of n, we are making a call n minus 1, next level n minus 2, next level n minus 2, n minus 2, n minus 3, like that it goes until the value of n become 1, then we say return. So my question, just in one line you write and tell me, in one line you write and tell me, what is the general procedure for solving this? The general procedure is you have to do a mathematical modeling. You have to derive, you have to express this algorithm in the, in the form of a mathematical model, in the form of a recurrence equation. That is the first thing you have to do. So my advice is, whenever you are solving such recursive problems, recursive problems, you make a point, aap hamesha ye dekhiye ki aap uska recurse, recurrence equation, recursive equation bana rahe ho, then it becomes easy for you to work out. So if I say t of n is the time complexity, t of n is the time complexity, please learn this. t of n is the time complexity of procedure what of n. Then can you write and tell what will be t of n, please? How will you write t of n? I'm not, I'm not asking the answer. I'm asking the recurrence equation. How will you write the recurrence equation? 
what will be the recurrence corresponding to this algorithm? Yes, Sritham Swain almost right. Come on, others also. How will you write? Yes, yes. You will write it like in two cases. For case one, I can say for n is equal to one. Look at this. For n is equal to one. Agar n ki value one ho, then I am saying making a comparison which take constant time and then return. So constant, some constant c. C represents the time for making this comparison and executing the return statement. That's it. Otherwise, if the value of n is greater than one. The input size is greater than one. Else ka matlab hai greater than one. Ab yahan par maap mat puchiye sir if it is less than minus less than zero aisa nahi hota. Input is always greater than one, one or more than one. ठीक है input cannot be zero or less than zero. ठीक है. So else n is greater than one. Then we are making the don't generally people make a, a mistake here. You have to consider this comparison time. ये comparison होने के बाद ही आप else पे आएंगे मतलब you have to add that comparison time a a is the time for making comparison plus what of n minus 1 t of n minus 1 because t of n is the time for what of n so t of n minus 1 will be the time for what of n minus 1 plus the time for b time for b is order of n my i will just write like n that's all that's all is the concept so this is what you should be becoming familiar But to derive the recurrence, so my recurrence will become t of n is equal to t of n minus one plus n plus a equation one. यहाँ पर एक और simplification भी हम कर सकते हैं while solving the recurrence. This function n plus a, if you take the order, is just order of n. It's just order of n. So as well, I can rewrite this as t of n without losing any generality. I can just write it like some constant b n. Even if you just write n, there is no problem. I am writing it as because it is order of n, so I am writing it like some b n, a and b are constants. Even if you write one, uh, uh, just n, that is no problem. Yes. So what happens now is how to solve this. One of the universal method, just as I have told you before, a beautiful method is back substitution method. It is very very simple that doesn't require any remembrance of any cases. Simple substitution with an intention to remove the recurrence, annihilate the recurrence. So, how to solve? करेंगे. T of n minus one will be nothing but T of n minus two plus b into n minus one. Equation three. If you substitute this value back in equation uh, two here and rewrite T of n, my T of n will become T of n minus two plus b into n minus one plus b n. Equation four. After one level of expansion, if you go for another level of expansion, I can directly write it here: t of n minus three plus b into n minus two plus b into n minus one plus b n. Okay. So if you keep on substituting to a depth of recursion k, for example, you are going up to some level k n minus k, so that this term will become. एन माइनस यह कि आप यहां पर टू है तो वन है यहां पे थ्री है तो टू है इफ इट इज के देन इट विल बी के माइनस वन सो ऑन प्लस बी इन टू एन बी इन टू एन इक्वेशन फाइव सो वी से दैट सच दैट दिस एन माइनस के शुड बिकम इक्वल टू वन सो दैट दिस टर्म गेट एन ही लिएटेड उसका मतलब है डिस्ट्रॉइड सो अल्टीमेटली इवेंचुअली माई टी ऑफ एन विल बिकम वॉट टी ऑफ वन Because t of n minus k is one. Plus, agar if you observe this term from the right hand side, b n plus b n minus one plus b n minus two, so on, n minus k minus one. जब यहाँ पर हमने n minus k equal to one लिया, k is nothing but n minus one. अगर मैं यहाँ पर k n minus one substitute कर दूँ, right n minus one, so this term will become two. This term will will become two. So it be, get get ex expanded like this. Two plus three plus four, so on plus n with all on all factors b common. T of one is C. So C plus two plus three plus so on plus n in, uh, into B you can take. If you assume let C is equal to one, of course B is not there for C, but let us write it. No problem. So eventually I can write this as one plus two plus three plus two n into B sum of n terms, which is n into n plus one by two 
into b b is a constant we can ignore if you take the order of this is order of n square if you take omega of it omega of n square so therefore the time complexity of this algorithm will be order of n square omega of n square theta of n square just as a matter of fact mai aapki ek basic understanding dekh raha hu ki aap dekhunga ki aap kitna prepared ho algorithms ke liye dekhenge who will answer yahan pe humne mana tha b of n is order of n ab lenge b of n let us say is order of 1 by n without working out let me check your ability of mathematics kya koi batayega mujhe if b of n is order of 1 by n if b of n is order of 1 by n then what will be the time complexity come on logical learner is saying log n come on other people also what will be the time complexity will it be log n check it ankit mohammad asif technical log n many people are saying one uh, log n i will give this as, as an homework aur main next class mein puchunga iska answer okay boys and girls i will ask the answer for this question in the next class if b of n is order of 1 by n a work करके मुझे बताइए नेक्स्ट क्लास में अभी मेरे पास उतना टाइम नहीं है वरना मैं ये भी सॉल्व कर देता लेकिन मैं चाह रहा हूं कि आप वर्कआउट करके मुझे बताइए नेक्स्ट क्लास में व्हाट इज आंसर फॉर इट ओके अगेन आई विल आस्क यू आई विल रिमेंबर एंड आस्क व्हाट इज व्हाट इज द टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑफ दिस सो यू शुड वर्कआउट एंड टेल वट इज वट विल आंसर इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास चलिए और एक एक पैराडाइम लेंगे हम इसका जल्दी मुझे वर्कआउट करके बताइए अपना दिस अ गेट क्वेश्चन वट इज आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन कमान सिंपल क्वेश्चन बैक सब्सिट्यूशन से कीजिए अफकोर्स देर आर अदर मेथड्स ऑल्सो जस्ट टू चेक दैट यू आर फेमिलियर विद बैक सब्सिट्यूशन वट इज द आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन दीज आर स्टैंडर्ड वंस प्लीज Did log log n? Sure. Come on, come on. Other people also. Is it log log n or log n? Is it log log n or log n? Recurrence. Tell me first. What will be the recurrence? Here we will write the recurrence. T of n is the time complexity. So T of n is equal to constant C for n is equal to two. Look at this. n equal to 2 comparison time plus executing return otherwise comparison time a don't neglect this mai aapko bar bar repeat kar raha hu agar aap ye a chhod denge to kai dusre problem mein wrong ho jayega so don't my dear student don't neglect this a a is the time for making comparison plus t of root n that's all t of root n t of root n iske do approaches hai you can solve it with back substitution or even you can solve it with back uh, मास्टर मेथड चूंकि मैंने मैं आपको मास्टर मेथड यहां पे क्रैश कोर्स में नहीं बता रहा हूं तो इसीलिए मैं चाह रहा कि बैक सब्सिट्यूशन से करके एक बार अपने आप को फेमिलराइज कर लीजिए अपने आप को बिल्कुल मतलब आप फेमिलियर है अप्रोच से आप एक बार प्रूफ कर लीजिए ओके बैक सब्सिट्यूशन से एक बार मैं आपको क्विकली वर्कआउट करके बता दू हाउ इट वर्क टी ऑफ एन इज इक्वल टू ए प्लस टी ऑफ रूट एन ठीक है आई कैन राइट दिस एज टी ऑफ एन पॉर हाफ or i can write it in this way right hand side here we'll write t of n power half plus a equation 1 so what is t of n power half t of n power 1 by 4 plus a equation 2 if you substitute this value <coughs> back in equation 1 and rewrite t of n <coughs> i'm sorry t of n power 1 by 4 plus a plus original a it become 2a I can write this as t of n power one by two square plus two a equation three. So after one level of expansion, after one level of expansion, 
इट बिकम्स टी ऑफ एन पावर वन बाई टू स्क्वायर प्लस टू ए ठीक है इफ यू गो फॉर एन अदर लेवल ऑफ एक्सपेंशन दिस विल बिकम एन पावर वन बाई टू क्यू प्लस थ्री है नेक्स्ट लेवल ऑफ एक्सपेंशन इज इट नॉट तो वॉट हैपन्स If you take to a depth of recursion, uh, depth of k in the recursion, t of n power one by two power k plus k, such that ये ultimate objective जो आपका substitution का back substitution का your ultimate objective should be to annihilate this. Annihilate मतलब destroy कर देना. This should become your initial or boundary condition. मतलब ये है कि n power one by two power k should become equal to my boundary condition is n is equal to two. मतलब this should be equal to two. अगर वहां पे वन लिख दोगे तो आप गलत हो जाएगा फिर बाउंड्री कंडीशन दिस द बाउंड्री कंडीशन ऑफ द रिकरेंस इक्वल इक्वेटेड टू टू सो दैट इफ यू टेक लॉग ऑफ दिस लॉग सो पहले अगर लॉग लेंगे तो वन बाई टू पावर के इन टू लॉग एन इज इक्वल टू लॉग टू टू बेस टू लॉग टू टू बेस टू इज वन तो इवेंचुअली दिस बिकम टू पावर के इज इक्वल टू लॉग एन मतलब के की वैल्यू क्या हो गई अगेन लॉग टेक लॉग लेना पड़ेगा तो लॉग लॉग एन हो गई के की वैल्यू The value of k is log log n. So this is nothing but t of two plus a into k. K is log log n. T of two ki value constant c has c plus a into log log n. So if you take the order of this, the order of log log n, as many people said correctly. Ab ab master method se bhi ye kar sakte hain by replacing the function. With some other function, you can do that. I am leaving that as an exercise. This is the thing. A small variation, puchunga me. Let me see whether you are knowledgeable or not. A small variation, I will ask here. Look here, this function me, this this algorithm me. If I remove this and write here a of root n plus a of root n, this was also a great question. वहां पर सिर्फ हमारे पास अच्छा ए ऑफ रूट एन से यहां पर एक और चेंज करूंगा स्मॉल चेंज जस्ट टू चेक योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग वी लेट्स रिमूव दिस एंड राइट प्लस एन बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्लीज सी मैं बहुत बाद में आऊंगा दूसरा ए ऑफ रूट एन प्लस एन ए ऑफ रूट एन प्लस एन माय क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट इज द चेंज दैट इज गोइंग टू हैपन इन दिस रिकर्शन इन दिस रिकरेंस इफ आई राइट प्लस एन वॉट विल बी टी ऑफ एन a plus t of root n plus what what will be the change ye recurrence mein kya change hoga if i write plus n if i write plus n what will be the change in the recurrence will there be any change is a very important point what do you see will the time uh, recurrence bataiye ab recurrence will it remain same or will it get change will the recurrence remain same or will it get change आंसर नहीं पूछ रहा हूं मैं यस एग्जैक्टली करेक्ट लॉजिकल रनर यूर राइट यू नीड टू एड अनदर कॉन्स्टेंट हियर बी दैट रिप्रेजेंट द टाइम फॉर एडिंग एन यू डोंट यू डोंट नीड टू मिस्टेकनली इफ यू एड एन एज सम पीपल डू इट इज रॉन्ग अगर आप यहां पर एन एड कर रहे हो अगर यहां एन एड करोगे ना तो आप फिर आपका आंसर गलत हो जाएगा यहां पर आप एन एड नहीं करोगे यहां पर एन एड नहीं करोगे राइट यू आर एडिंग ए वैल्यू टू अनदर वैल्यू दिस इज गोइंग टू रिटर्न सम वैल्यू You are adding two values. The time for adding two values is a constant. So this is the time for adding two constants. So a plus b is another constant. This will become again d plus t of root n. No change. No change. Will remain log log n. Time complexity will remain the same. Ha. Huh, agar for example, if I write as I said earlier a of root n, another call. Then the recurrence will become two times t of root n. So what will be the time complexity now if I write a of root n plus a of root n? Come on. <coughs> What will be the time complexity? Yes, if I make two recursive calls, ये problems को आप standard लेके remember कीजिए so that you can answer the questions clearly. So therefore, now if you simplify, so this will become two times t of root n plus constant. So if you simplify that, now the answer will come order of log n. You can work this as an assignment, as a homework, and prove that this will come as order of log n. ठीक है? So this is another concept. i will go for one more thing loops i will come slightly later loops i will come at later point of time uh i have one more thing to give from here let me see whether you can work out or not i will write the pro, uh, the, the program sn snippet 
Let me see how many of you can work out this. It's a great question, but I am slightly varying it. Be ready, boys and girls. It's very interesting. A C program segment is given. एक्चुअली ये प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज का क्वेश्चन है इस एक गेट एग्जाम का ठीक है उसको मैं कन्वर्ट कर रहा हूं एल्गोरिथम में एज फॉलोस आई एम मेकिंग माई चेंज प्लीज काइंडली सी ऑन बोर्ड इफ आई से दैट इफ आई से एस इज ए पॉइंटर टू ए स्ट्रिंग ऑफ लेंथ एन कैरेक्टर्स n characters then the time complexity tc of procedure abc will be order of dash fill up the dash two mark question actually gate exam mein kya diya gaya tha they said that s is pointing to a string like something like uh, x y z something like this then they say they ask what is output of the program the language mein to wahi puch pucha jata output pucha jata ye chhod dijiye aap this is go okay you can do that later lekin algorithmic perspective say you should analyze you should observe that this is a recursive algorithm right the recursive algorithm ye recursive algorithm hai iski time complexity determine karna hogi to iske kya hogi time complexity can anybody tell me can you write down and tell what will be the time complexity of this Pritam Swain, yes. What will be the recurrence? The recurrence for this is how much? This is my string of length n characters in the memory, right? This terminated when null. Some characters are there. Say here, for example, x, y, p, q, r, t, something like this. And the base address of that is in the string variable s. if it is 2000 is 2000 so i'm saying this is of length n the time to process a string of length n is t of n right so if star s is equal to null that is t of n for n is equal to 1 will be just uh, returning come making comparison and coming out making comparison and coming out n is equal to 1 is a constant time but however when i have more than one character and is greater than 1 then what will be the equation the equation will be time for comparison a plus time for processing another constant prime time for printing abc of s plus 1 s plus 1 is not n plus 1 s plus 1 matlab you are incrementing the pointer pointing to the next element matlab aapki string ki length reduce ho gayi by 1 so therefore it will be t of n minus 1 Plus t of n minus one, correct? So this will become my equation. That's simple. You can write it like two t of n minus one plus some constant d. So if you solve this recurrence, I cannot solve now because of time constraint. If you solve, this will come out to order of two power n. So I'm just trying to show that this is exponential time-based algorithm, exponential complexity. So like that, you can use back substitution method, or you can use the other master method, uh, shortcut methods to solve such recurrences. But ideally speaking, I would always say, go for back substitution. That is always safe and better, even though it may be slightly time-consuming. But once you are in practice, or just up observation power, up, you will see. So immediately, as good as I can challenge you, I can tell you that in the same amount of time, like master method, you can also solve in back substitution method. in master method there is a likelihood that you may have some problems with regard to remembering of the cases and also applicability cases because there are some inadmissible cases in master method substitution mein aapko koi problem nahi hai this is universal method wohi bata raha hu main aap is ka aur ek advantage ye hai back substitution ka ke you can get the value of recurrence master method se aapko exact value na milegi <coughs> with uh, sorry <coughs> with master method you can get only the order omega or theta 
you cannot get the exact value and some papers of gate they have asked they have asked uh, value of the recurrence agar value aapko determine karna hai so then you have to go for back substitution uh, sir finding roots of characteristic equation also we have to learn yes uh, you do that i mean recurrence relations of discrete mathematics ke teacher se padhiye wo bahut acche acha tarike se samjhayenge in various cases short uh, uh, approaches they, they can teach they can make you learn you can follow it चलिए मैं मैं जैसा बताया देर आर देर आर सम प्रोग्राम्स आई हैव केप्ट हियर ऑन लूप्स आई विल डू दैट लेटर क्योंकि टाइम इज द इश्यू आई विल आई वुड लाइक टू टच अपॉन स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी बिकॉज आई फाइंड दैट मेनी पीपल आर आल्सो हैविंग अ डाउट विद रिगार्ड टू स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटीज सो आई वुड लाइक टू बेसिकली टॉक अबाउट स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी बिफोर मूविंग ऑन टू डिवाइड एंड कॉन्कर ओके विल टॉक अ टॉक अबाउट इट चलिए हाउ टू डिटर्मिन द स्पेस रिक्वायरमेंट्स मेमरी स्पेस बस लेट मी सी वॉट इज यूर अंडरस्टैंडिंग विथ रिगार्ड टू स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी क्या कुछ कोई मुझे लिख के बताएंगे इन द चैट विंडो हाउ डू डिटर्मिन द स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑफ ए प्रोग्राम हाउ डू डिटर्मिन द स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑफ द प्रोग्राम कमन वेरी सिंपल because there is a lot of confusion here i would like to see the projection what you have with regard to space complexity space means space of what that is what i am trying to say extra space logical learner is saying extra space shifu khadir is saying workspace theek hai acha theek hai workspace or extra space ja aapne kaha other than that what what could be the other space which the algorithm may be using नो नो स्पेस का मतलब ये गेट इजी यहां पर ये है कि स्पेस का मतलब मेमोरी स्पेस एल्गोरथम स्पेस किस लिए यूज करेगा स्पेस रिक्वायर्ड टू परफॉर्म ए प्रोग्राम एग्जीक्यूशन नहीं ऐसा नहीं है आशीष कुमार माय पॉइंट इज द स्पेस रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ एन एल्गोरथम और ए प्रोग्राम विल बी फॉर टू पार्ट वॉट आर द टू पार्ट ओके कंप्यूटेशन स्टेप्स नहीं स्टिल आई वॉन्ट मोर क्लैरिटी there are two parts proportions in the algorithm with the space memory for, for which the memory space is required what are the two parts yes one is input space for input and the other is space for workspace this is the space needed for performing computation this is also called additional space extra space other than input additional extra space additional or extra space other than input other than input algorithm mein input store karne ke liye space lagegi aapko memory ki aur fir kuch extra space lagegi for carrying out your computational speeds computational speeds uh, computational steps तो दीज टू टूगेदर कंस्टिट्यूट यूर स्पेस लेकिन यहां पर एक बात आपको बताना चाह रहा हूं जब जब भी हम स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी की बात करेंगे स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑलवेज रेफर्स टू वर्क स्पेस इट डज नॉट कंसिडर इनपुट स्पेस इज अ पॉइंट यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड इन मेजरिंग द स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी लेट मी राइट इट डाउन फॉर यूर कन्वीनियंस इन मेजरिंग द स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी इन मेजरिंग द स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी we consider only the space requirement the space requirement for workspace that is extra space which is needed for carrying out your computations it is not the input space samajh rahe baat ko इनपुट की कभी भी नहीं लगे अगर आप इनपुट ले लोगे तो फिर आपके आंसर्स रॉन्ग हो जाएंगे ओनली एक्स्ट्रा स्पेस ये एक्स्ट्रा स्पेस में फॉर रिकर्सिव एल्गोरिथम रिकर्शन स्टैक भी आ जाएगा रिकर्शन स्टैक आल्सो कंट्रीब्यूट्स इन दिस एक्स्ट्रा स्पेस उसके लिए हम क्या करेंगे एक सिंपल एग्जाम्पल लेंगे विल टेक ए सिंपल एग्जाम्पल 
जनरली स्वैप रूटीन जो हमारा स्वैप रूटीन होता है एक सिंपल एग्जाम्पल टू अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट आई हैव टू इंटीजर वेरिएबल्स इंटीजर ए इंटीजर बी जो मेरा रेगुलर स्वैप रूटीन होता है आई यूज ए टेम्पररी वेरिएबल टी राइट आई राइट लाइक टी इज इक्वल टू ए इज इक्वल टू बी टी इज इक्वल टू टी यहां पर आप आप बहुत क्लैरिटी से समझ सकते हो प्लीज लुक हियर इन दिस एल्गोरिथम अगर मैं मान लू कि ये मेरा एल्गोरिथम है ठीक है तो ए एंड बी आर इनपुट्स अगर मैं मान के चलू कि दीज आर इनपुट्स तो टेल मी व्हाट इज दैट पैरामीटर इन दिस एल्गोरिथम विच कम इन द क्लास ऑफ वर्क स्पेस इसमें वर्क स्पेस कौन सा है वट इज अ वर्क स्पेस हियर बोलिए ए एंड बी आर इनपुट्स अगर इफ आई मान के चलूं कि ए एंड बी आर इनपुट्स देन व्हाट इज अ वर्क स्पेस कंट्रीब्यूशन इन दिस एल्गोरिथम प्लीज टेल मी नॉट स्वैप स्वैप इज अ नेम ऑफ एल्गोरिथम प्रशांत व्हाट इज दैट वेरिएबल व्हाट इज दैट पैरामीटर व्हाट इज दैट कंपोनेंट व्हिच इज एक्टिंग एज वर्क स्पेस नॉट असाइनमेंट वेरिएबल टी वेरिएबल टी वेरिएबल टी दिस इज वर्क स्पेस दिस एडिशनल स्पेस अदर देन इनपुट विच यू आर यूजिंग टू कैरी आउट यूर कंप्यूटेशन ये कंप्यूटेशन में जो यूज हो रहा है तो दिस कम्स टी इज अ नॉर्मल वेरिएबल इट्स एंटीजियर वेरिएबल जनरली टेक कॉन्स्टेंट टाइम्स कॉन्स्टेंट स्पेस सॉरी कॉन्स्टेंट स्पेस सो कॉन्स्टेंट का मतलब इट इज ऑर्डर ऑफ वन तो यहां पर और एक बात आपको यह नेसेसरी बता रहा हूं ये जो असिमटोटिक बाउंड्स और फंक्शंस जो हम अप्लाई किए थे टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी में इक्वली अप्लाई टू स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी आल्सो एग्जैक्टली इन द सेम डायमेंशन एग्जैक्टली इन द सेम डायमेंशन द नोटेशन असिमटोटिक नोटेशन एंड द बाउंड्स दैट वी स्टडीड इक्वली अप्लाई टू स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑल्सो इक्वली अप्लाइज टू स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी एज वेल ठीक है सो दैट इज अ पॉइंट चलिए और एक एग्जाम्पल लेंगे ताकि यू हैव गॉड यू 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 बिल्ड अप सम अंडरस्टैंडिंग Uh, I will write like algorithm sum a and n. I will write like this integer n a of n, right? Integer i sum is equal to zero. Okay? Then I write a loop for i is equal to one to n. Sum plus equal to a of i. Very simple algorithm. I know uh, I I can understand that you know very well what this algorithm is doing. We are given an array with n n elements, n integers. We are finding the sum of all elements of the array. I'm very sure you can tell what is the time complexity of this. The time complexity of this is order of n. But what about the space complexity? on boys and girls please work out and tell what is the space complexity of this algorithm space complexity is it order of n ashish kumar constant means you should write in asymptotic notations three times when you are saying n Is it order of one or is it order of n? That is what I am asking you. Is it order of one or order of n? Yes, order of one. Why? Input is of size n. Please understand. This is input. Other than input, this is contributing in my workspace additional variables. That is contributing in workspace. These are additional variables. So these normal two bytes, two bytes, or four bytes, or four bytes. 4 plus 4, 8 is a constant. So therefore, space complexity is order of one. Is order of one. समझ गया? So don't get confused. एक और एक last example लेंगे हम. Look at this. Algorithm. R sum. A comma n. You imagine the same thing. Integer array of size n elements as usual, right? If n is equal to 0 or n is equal to 1 return k of 1 <coughs> else 
return a of n plus r sum a comma n minus 1. I would like you to please observe this function. Jipu Khadir, they will not ask. They ask, they will, unless and until they ask what is the input space plus workspace, then you can answer. Otherwise, you need not. Come on, first you tell me what is the time complexity and space complexity of this algorithm. Time complexity. And space requirements. Someone bully it. What is the time complexity and space complexity? Very good. People are saying. Sunil Chaudhary, you are saying space is order of one. Yes, both is order of n. Very good. Time complexity ke liye aap recurrence likh sakte ho yahan par. T of n. Yahan par likh lenge hum. T of n is equal to constant for n is equal to one. Because it is filing recursive sum. Right of my previous problem, ye recursive summation hai. So another constant a plus T of n minus one. That's it. Right? A of n minus 1. So A of n here. So T of n. For A of n minus 1, it is T of n minus 1. This will be the case for n greater than 1. So if you solve this recurrence, it is order of n. This time complexity. What about space complexity? Agar aap jahan yaha dekhenge to, I mean, you, can, you can't see any variables for workspace. But we all know that this is recursion. Right? This is recursion. So the time, the space for recursion, the space for stack, recursion, recursion stack, space for recursion stack will contribute into space complexity. So stack ki size kitni lagegi aapki? So for that you will have to look at the nature of this recursion. Is this a linear recursion or not? Yes, it's a linear recursion. Sabse pehle activation record jo stack pe jayega of this recursive, recursive algorithm will be for a of n. Next will be for a of n minus 1. Next call will be for a of n minus 2. a of n minus 2. Is tarikhe se read karam. Like that it will go for a of 1 perhaps. So it's a linear recursive. So n activation records will get pushed on to stack. n activation records. So I need a recursive depth of size n. So therefore, the space complexity of this is order of n. Is tarikhe se aapko determine karni hai. Usi tarah, agar recursive calls aap dekhenge, recursive algorithm aap nature dekhna, aur uski jaso space complexity determine karna. For example, aur ek bhi ek simple le lenge hum. So that, let me see how many of you will get confused. Algorithm what? Or something like A of n. If n is equal to 1, return. Else, a of n by 2. That's all. What is the space complexity of this? You can tell both, time and space. No problem. Because these things will come in divide and conquer also. Right? The strategy which we are going to start. This will be encountered there also. So therefore, it's a topic of continuation. Come on, boys and girls. Time complexity how much and space complexity how much? If Khadir is saying order of n, how is it order of n? Yes. Time. Recursive equation kya hoga iska? 
टी ऑफ एन डायरेक्टली फॉर एन ग्रेटर देन मैं लिख दूंगा मैं इट विल बी टी ऑफ एन बाई टू प्लस कॉन्स्टेंट प्लस कॉन्स्टेंट तो इफ यू सिंप्लीफाई दिस इट विल बी ऑर्डर ऑफ लॉग एन और इसकी जो रिकर्शन डेप्थ है रिकर्शन डेप्थ ऑफ स्टैक सो फर्स्ट आई विल पुश द एक्टिवेशन रिकॉर्ड ऑन द स्टैक फॉर वैल्यू ऑफ एन एज एन एन देन एन बाई टू देन एन बाई फोर देन एन बाई एट लाइक दैट द एक्टिवेशन रिकॉर्ड विल गो अप टू इट बिकम वन इफ यू दिस सी दिस इट इज नॉट लीनियर लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल एज वी हैड अर्लियर एन एन माइनस वन एन माइनस टू एन माइनस थ्री राइट इफ यू सी द रेट ऑफ ग्रोथ ऑफ दिस दिस इज नथिंग बट लॉक सीरीज लॉग इन एन प्लस एन बाई टू प्लस एन बाई फोर प्लस एन बाई एट लाइक दैट इफ यू सी दिस लॉग इन ठीक है तो देर फोर बोथ टाइम एंड स्पेस इज ऑर्डर ऑफ लॉग इन लॉग इन कॉल्स वन बाई टू वन बाय जीरो एन बाई टू पॉर जीरो टू पॉर वन टू पॉर टू टू पॉर थ्री टू पॉर फोर लाइक दैट इट गोस टू पॉर के टू पॉर के टू पॉर के इज इक्वल टू एन राइट तो एन के इज इक्वल टू लॉग इन की नंबर ऑफ रिकर्सिव कॉल्स दैट्स दैट सिपर टाइम ठीक है चलिए अब अब आज का टॉपिक स्टार्ट करेंगे विल स्टार्ट विथ वॉट वी कॉल डिवाइड एंड कॉन्कर फर्स्ट डिजाइन स्ट्रैटेजी वन ऑफ द ओल्डेस्ट टेक्निक ऑफ सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम्स डिवाइड एंड कॉन्कर अनोइंगली और नोइंगली हम अपनी रियल लाइफ में भी कई मरतबा ये प्राइवेट स्ट्रैटेजी यूज कर सकते हैं यूज करते हैं और मैं जनरली सजेस्ट करता हूं गेट एस्पिरेंट्स को कि वाइल प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर गेट यू फॉलो दिस डिवाइड एंड कॉन्कर स्ट्रैटेजी डिवाइड एंड कॉन्कर स्ट्रैटेजी है क्या वॉट इज इट वेन द प्रॉब्लम बिकम लार्ज और कॉम्प्लेक्स कोई भी प्रॉब्लम जब आपका बहुत कॉम्प्लेक्स हो जाए बहुत डिफिकल्ट हो जाए वी से दैट बेटर वे ऑफ सॉल्विंग इट इज बाई कटिंग इट इन टू smaller problems dividing the problem into sub problems into further sub problems into further sub problems until the sub problem becomes small so small that it can be solved in one or two basic steps solve the smaller problems combine the results of them if necessary and get the solution to the original problem this is the core idea of divide and conquer dekhiye kai examples hum de sakte hain divide and conquer ke real life mein like eating an apple आपके पास एक एप्पल हो सेब हो काफी बड़ा सेब है यू कैन नॉट टेक इट तो व्हाट डू यू डू यू कट इनटू टू पार्ट्स फिर देखें एक पार्ट इट इज स्टिल लार्जर कट फर्दर इनटू टू पार्ट्स सो यू कीप ऑन कटिंग इट अंटिल इट बिकम स्मॉल देन यू सॉलो इट दैट इज डिवाइड एंड कॉन्कर द प्रॉब्लम एक्चुअली इसका हिस्टोरिकल परस्पेक्टिव अगर देखें वाई दिस स्ट्रैटेजी इज नेम्ड एज डिवाइड एंड कॉन्कर it refers back to very olden times of, of uh, kingship it seems that in one of the wars which napoleon fought with european army he has encountered an army which was double his size so he thought now whatever strategy jo hum pehle use kar rahe the ab use nahi kar sakte because the opponent army size is double than ours so ab hum kya karenge he suggested he with his army generals that this time we will divide ourselves into three parts middle one left one and right one he said that middle wing i will take middle wing middle wing i will take the lead and first i will attack the army in the middle of them i so that they get depart they get partition into two parts then he said that left part will take the left right part will take the right one and then from the middle i will support both of you that was the basic strategy of divide and conquer it seems it worked and then that's why it was named as divide and conquer he divided the army into two parts and conquered over them that's why divide and conquer yes bagwadari has rightly said britishers used the same policy to rule over subcontinent many countries administration become difficult when people are united better way of doing that is go and create dispute among them divide them on various parameters राइट right? एक के पास जाए बोले साहब आपके बारे में ऐसा बोल रहे थे इधर जाके बोलेंगे साहब आपके बारे में ऐसा बोल रहे थे दे बोथ विल फाइट विथ ईच अदर एंड दे विल एंजॉय अ कप ऑफ टी राइट दैट इज डिवाइड एंड कॉन्कर द सेम थिंग कैन बी अप्लाइड इन कंप्यूटेशनल एस्पेक्ट्स आल्सो इन मेनी ऑफ दी रियल केसेस सो देर आर टू थिंग्स हियर वन इज डिवाइड दर इज कॉन्कर 
you should keep on dividing the problem into sub problems into further sub problems until what until the sub problem becomes small so in general yahan pe hame define karna hai ki when shall we consider the problem to be small in general we say the problem is small so here i will write the definition for your convenience problem is said to be small problem is said to be small koi likh ke batayenge mujhe dekhenge aapki understanding in general when do you say problem is small come on boys and girls problem is said to be small when come on boys and girls when do you say problem is small what is the definition of problem being small in divide and conquer hmm everybody is silent what is the general definition of problem being small no no every problem resemble the original problem in all aspects that is for division here with recursion yes logical learner you are almost right almost right uh nesha mishra okay fine you are saying it cannot be further subdivided yes harsh agarwal is almost correct only one not just like one element it is not with respect to input size it is that's what i said have clarity problem is said to be small remember if it can be solved if it can be solved in one or two basic operations fundamental operations agar maan lijiye comparison ka hai to one or two comparison that's it usse badhke nahi like agar maan lijiye if i am given for example a list of 100 integers i want to find the largest of it to yahan par mujhe comparison ki zarurat hai 100 elements agar ho to just one or two comparison se i cannot determine the largest problem is large so fir hum divide karenge 50 50 50 bhi large hai 50 ko further divide karenge 25 25 25 bhi large hai again divide 12 13 theek hai 12 bhi large hai again divide 6 and 6 isi tarah karte aayenge kab tak karenge jab tak aapki list mein two elements agar mere paas two elements ho to main sirf ek comparison se determine kar lunga ki problem large hai ya small hai which is large and which is small right which is small and which is large element or which is the maximum i can find if my list has only one or two elements the problem is said to be small if it can be solved in one or two basic fundamental operations ye yaad rakhiye aap not with respect to input size input size one hone dijiye two hone dijiye shayad koi problem mein agar input size three ya four bhi ho to aap bolenge ki problem small ho ho sakta hai sir so you don't talk in terms of input size dear students you tell in terms of problem being solved as follows when it can be solved in one or two basic operations so jab small problems aa jayenge aap solve kijiye get the result or some problems mein aapko result combine karna hoga aap combine kijiye ya some problems mein aapko combine karne ki zarurat na hogi to aap combine na kijiye aapka smaller problem ka solution hi aapke original problem ka solution ho jayega jaisa binary search hai ठीक है वहां पे आपको कंबाइन करने की जरूरत नहीं है क्विक शॉर्ट है वहां पे आपको कंबाइन करने की जरूरत नहीं है गेटिंग माय पॉइंट मर शॉर्ट है आपको कंबाइन करना पड़ेगा मैट्रिक्स मल्टीप्लिकेशन है कंबाइन करना पड़ेगा राइट सो कंबाइन इज एन ऑप्शनल ऑप्शन एज सच ओके सो दैट इज द पैराडाइम ऑफ इट देखिए हर डिजाइन स्ट्रैटेजी है जो डिवाइड एंड कॉन्कर है या ग्रीडी मेथड है या डायनामिक प्रोग्रामिंग हो या बैक ट्रैकिंग ब्रांच एंड बाउंड हर एक डिजाइन स्ट्रैटेजी की अपनी एक ओन कंट्रोल एब्सट्रैक्शन होती है ये दिस इज ऑल्सो एन अदर एस्पेक्ट यू हैव टू कीप इन माइंड कंट्रोल एब्सट्रैक्शन या फिर हम इसे बोलेंगे जनरल मेथड जनरल मेथड कंट्रोल एब्सट्रैक्शन मीन्स ए स्ट्रैटेजी एल्गोरिथम हुज फ्लो ऑफ कंट्रोल इज वेरी क्लियर बट द डिटेल्स ऑफ द स्टेप्स आर एब्सट्रैक्टेड प्रोसीजर जिसका फ्लो ऑफ कंट्रोल बिल्कुल क्लियर हो समझ में आता हो और उसके डिटेल्स जो है स्टेप्स के वो एब्सट्रैक्शन है आपको पता नहीं है कैसे इंप्लीमेंट होंगे लेकिन वो जो स्टेप में क्या किया जा रहा है हमें मालूम होगा लेकिन वो कैसे किया जा रहा है दैट इज इंप्लीमेंटेशन स्पेसिफिक हमें उसे वरी करने की बात नहीं आ, की, की जरूरत नहीं है दैट इज एब्सट्रैक्शन या इसे बोलेंगे जनरल मेथड उसी तरह जस्ट टू शो वॉट इज द जनरल मेथड ऑफ डिवाइड एंड कॉन्कर यहां पर मैं लिख रहा हूं ये देखिए आप दी द जनरल मेथड ऑफ डिवाइड एंड कॉन्कर और कंट्रोल एब्सट्रैक्शन फॉर डिवाइड एंड कॉन्कर प्लीज रीड इट इज वेरी सिंपल एंड इंटरेस्टिंग 
I am solving some problem P using divide and conquer method. First, I will use an abstract. Yeah, abstract procedure is small. How small is implemented vary from problem to problem. For some problem, if I have one input, it may be small. For some problem, if I have two input, it may be small. Right? So it varies. Yeah, yeah, abstract procedure. It will return true or false. If the problem is really small, then I solve my smaller problem by a solution, by an algorithm, by a procedure, my name S, working on problem P. Agar problem small na ho, to hum else pe aayenge. Kya karenge? Divide the problem P into smaller instances, sub problems. Kitne sub problems all divide kiye hum? K sub problems. Right? That this value of K can vary. Some many a cases we divide this into two sub problems, but in some cases it can be more than two also. Just a binary search mein three sub problems honge. But like in, agar max min problem ho, merge sort ho, quick sort ho, we generally divide that into two sub problems. So in most of the case studies of divide and conquer, we divide them into two sub problems. Like in, in general, agar baat karenge aap, to I say k instances. So each of these sub problems resemble the original problem in all respects, except that their sizes are different. Yes, sir. Har problem ki size same ho sakti hai, sub problem ki, ya different bhi ho sakti hai. n by 2, n by 2 ho sakti hai. n by 3, 2, n by 3 ho sakte, ya n by 3, n by 4, some n by 6, aise bhi ho sakte hai. Whatever be the case. Thik hai? So, smaller problems may be of equal size or may be of different size. Jise mein apni terminology mein bolta hao, symmetric or asymmetric. Agar equal size ho, to symmetric bolenge hum. Agar unequal sizes agar ho, to asymmetric bolenge. Thik hai? Both cases can apply. Phir uske baad kya hoga? Because my sub-problems resemble original problem P in all respects, to hum recursively solve kar sakte hain. To my dear students, second point aapko ye bata raha hoon ki almost all divide and conquer problems are solved recursively, are solved recursively. So here we are saying apply divide and conquer to each of these sub problems. Har ek us divide and conquer apply ki jiye and then combine the results of return. This is the solving the first sub problem. This is solving second sub problem. This is solving recursively last sub problem. Phir har ek ka apna apna jo result aayega you are going to combine. If necessary, combine if necessary. This is called the general procedure of solving the problems by divide and conquer method. Now, it's a generic recurrence that has come here. D of n, time complexity of divide and conquer recurrences, divide and conquer problems is done. So, here I am writing. Time complexity of all divide and conquer problems. Time complexity of divide and conquer problems is basically derived through a recurrence which is generally called Divide and conquer recurrence. Or the key case divide and conquer recurrence, very simple. T of n is equal to g of n when the problem is small. Otherwise, t of n1, what is n1? Time for solving first sub problem. What is n2? Time for solving second sub problem. I mean, t of n2. n2 is a size. n3 is a size of third sub problem. nk is a size of last sub problem. So, time for first sub problem, time for second sub problem, time for third, you add them, plus f of n. Look at this f of n f of n is representing the time for combine, the time for divide, here divide, right? And time for checking that the problem is small, put together the time is f of n. Is tarikhe se hoga. Agar iska ek mein special case le loon, iska special case le loon, to hum ek generic way mein aisa likh sakte hain uske. Algorithm divide and conquer, divide and conquer, working on n inputs. So first hum will check if small of uh, just uh, this problem instance like this, if a value of n is small, then I say return, else, right? What, what are we going to, what are we going to do? We are going to basically like uh, divide in two sub problems. So again, I will make a recursive call, divide and conquer, right? So first sub problem. <coughs> <coughs> Or maybe in the form of an array, I can write if you want. <laughs> Sorry. We are solving some problem, some, uh, some problem A, whose lower limit is in uh, uh, problem A means input A, whose lower limit and upper limit is in delimited in the interval from P to Q. That means A is some like a list or maybe an array. Can imagine like this, this P and Q, right? So here, for example, uh, when the problem is small or not, I'm just checking. So instead of saying n, 
I would say that this is array A. If it is small, then I say just return. Otherwise else, array is small or you can even write P comma Q, there is no error. If I am dividing about some mid position about this P plus Q by 2, something like this. And then I will supply the divide and conquer on the first sub problem from, of the array A is from P to M. Right? And divide and conquer on the right sub problem of A from M plus 1 to Q, second sub problem. And if you want, uh, for example, uh, this is returning in solution S1, this is returning the result in solution S2. If you want, you can combine the result of S1 and S2, something like this. So this becomes a specific case of the general one which I have described you earlier, which I have described you earlier, right? So based on this, how do I describe the recurrence of this, recurrence of this? So if I say T of N, what is N now? N is nothing but number of elements. Q minus P plus 1 will give you the number of elements. So if T of N is a time complexity, it will be constant C when N is equal to 1, when the problem is small, in fact, problem is small, let us say. Otherwise, when the problem is large, then the time for A, the con comparison, plus the time for M, this division also is accommodated in this constant. Time for, look at this, time for divide and conquer for this. Like, for example, if I consider I am dividing this exactly into half, n by 2, right, half position, uh, half. Then the first list will have n by 2 elements, second list will have n by 2 elements, so that the recurrence will look like t of n by 2 plus t of n by 2, solving the first sub-problem, solving the second sub-problem, plus another function f of n, f of n representing the time for combine, f of n represent the time for procedure combine, and miscellaneous times like time for small, time for this division, etc. you accommodate. Even you can accommodate this A in f of n. So generically I can write this equation as t of n is equal to 2t of n by 2 plus some f of n. This is a case when n is greater than 1 or maybe when the problem is large. This is called divide and conquer recurrence where I have divided my problem into two equal size of problems, two equal size of problems. So this represents number of sub problems, number of sub problems, and this represents size of each sub problem, size, size of each sub problem, size of each sub problem. Is ka generalized approach kya hoga? That become a general derivation of recurrence. So please follow on board. Generalize, divide and conquer recurrence. Generalize, divide and conquer recurrence. Jo jiske basis par aap master method device kar sakte ho. It will be given like t of n is equal to a t of n by b plus f of n. The case when n is greater than some constant d. Otherwise, it is equal to some constant c if n is less than or equal to d. So this being problem as small and the other is problem is large. So this become the generalized approach of divide and conquer recurrence. Jahan par hum bolenge, A represents, remember, number of sub-problems which you are solving. So A must be greater than or equal to 1. And what is n by b? This n by b. N by B represent the size of each sub problem. Where we say B must be greater than 1 because it cannot be like uh, uh, N, by, uh, N by 1. It has to be N by 2, it has to be N by 4, it has to be N by 5 like that. So therefore B must be greater than 1 and the function F of N is always positive. Because time for combine, ex divide, etc. cannot be negative positive. So this is the generic form of this. Yeah, basis for up some recurrences bol sakte hai. like for example I can get recurrence like 2 T n by 2 plus some n or another example up lenge <coughs> 4 T n by 2 plus n. Ya phir aap lenge for example 8 T n by 2 plus n square something like this. These are all symmetric cases I say. Yes, symmetric. These are all symmetric cases. You can have asymmetric cases. Just say, I am like, for example, you can have recurrence like t of n by 3 plus t of 2n by 3 plus some function f of n. 
इज ऑल्सो एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ डिवाइड एंड कॉन्कर तो यहां पर क्या हो गया कि यू हैव नॉट डिवाइडेड यू हैव फॉर एग्जाम्पल इसका मतलब यह है कि इफ दिस इज माई प्रॉब्लम ऑफ इनपुट साइज एंड आई है दिस इन टू टू पार्ट वन ऑफ साइज एन बाई थ्री द अदर ऑफ साइज टू एन बाई थ्री तो दिस इज ऑल्सो एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ डिवाइड एंड कॉन्कर रिकरेंस बट दिस इज असिमेट्रिक माई ओन अपनी टर्मिनोलॉजी में कह रहा हूं दिस इज असिमेट्रिक क्यों क्योंकि दोनों प्रॉब्लम के साइज अलग अलग है दैट इज वाई एम कॉलिंग असिमेट्रिक प्रॉब्लम ऑफ डिफरेंट साइज ठीक है so that is still you can have another form total asymmetric like for example t of n is equal to t of n by 2 plus t of n by 4 plus f of n difference ye hai yahan par in this the total size is making up to n lekin yahan par total size is not making up to n it is not equal to n check that these are all different examples of divide and conquer recurrences which are generally encountered in solving problems तो ये है बेसिक इंट्रोडक्शन टू डिवाइड एंड कॉन्कर और मोस्ट ऑफन फॉर सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ डिवाइड एंड कॉन्कर तो जो स्टैक्स uh, जो स्पेस uh, कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी होगी स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी राइट स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी इज बेसिकली लाइक मोस्ट ऑफन विल बी डिपेंडेंट ऑन रिकर्शन स्टैक यू हैव टू बी एक्सट्रीमली केयरफुल इन इन एस्टिमेटिंग द स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑफ डिवाइड एंड कॉन्कर प्रॉब्लम्स जहां पर आपका फोकस होना चाहिए स्टैक के ऊपर व्हाट इज द साइज ऑफ स्टैक दैट आर यू गोइंग टू यूज फॉर इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ डिवाइड एंड कॉन्कर इकरेंसेस वो आप देख लीजिए देन यू कैन वर्क आउट इट एज अ केस स्टडी आई विल टेक अ वन प्रॉब्लम आई विल टेक अ वन प्रॉब्लम देन वी विल हैव अ डिस्कशन ऑन इट द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम दैट आई विल टेक इट फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग डिवाइड एंड कॉन्कर मेथर्ड वेरी सिंपल प्रॉब्लम मैक्समिन problem is very simple you are given an integers in an array right in an array we are required to find both max and min of it in one procedure max and min so my question is can we solve this problem first using straight max min डिवाइड एंड कॉन्कर नॉन डीसी क्या हम इसे सॉल्व कर सकते हैं विदाउट डिवाइड एंड कॉन्कर फिर डिवाइड एंड कॉन्कर से कैसे करेंगे ये हम देखेंगे प्लीज सी हियर तो फर्स्ट आई वुड लाइक टू प्रोजेक्ट द कोड फॉर आई कैन राइट इट लाइक प्रोसीजर और आई कैन राइट इट लाइक एल्गोरिथम बोथ आर सेम तो आई विल कॉल इट एज स्ट्रेट मैक्समिन हाउ विल यू राइट गिवन एन अरे ऑफ साइज एन एलिमेंट we want to find both max and min of it what will be our first step our first step will be we will initialize both max and min we will initialize both max and min in which we are going to return the result of the array as the first element we will consider the first element of the array as max and min then what we'll take a loop for i is equal to 2 to n minus 1 2 to n you can go because first element is already done then i will write comparison if a of i if a of i is greater than max current max then i will update max is it not as simple as that else <coughs> if a of i is not greater than max means a of i less than min then what should i say i will have i need to have another comparison i if i say if a of i is less than min current min then i would say min is equal to a of i this is a straight forward method now for this method if i ask you straight forward what is the time complexity i am very sure everybody you can tell what is the time complexity of this time complexity undoubtedly everybody would say order of n but i am not interested to know what is the time complexity i would like to know the metric on which the time complexity is dependent on please follow me what i am saying the metric the parameter on which the time complexity is dependent on that is nothing but element comparison element comparisons element comparisons so can anybody tell me please can anybody tell me in this procedure let me see this could be a simple one mark gate question In this procedure, what is the maximum? Maximum का मतलब है worst case. 
WC worst case number of comparisons and what is the minimum number of comparison best case come on just write down in the chat box and let me know what is the maximum and minimum number of element comparisons happening in this procedure generally I found many people making mistake here so let me check your class now let me see how many of you will give me the correct answer best case is n minus 1 worst case is 2 into n minus 1 oh, very good other people also please M plus N minus 1, Sritam. Kyon bhai? Vaise kyon hoga? What is M? There is nothing like M here. Koi M parameter hi nahi hai algorithm mein. When will best case will happen? Best case. Dekhi aap. Best case kab hoga? Come on, answer me. When will best case arise? For best case, this condition should always be true. A of I greater than max should always be true. That will happen when the elements are in increasing order. If the elements are in increasing order, best case will happen. Every new element will be greater than previous max. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Increasing order. Uske liye aapko sirf lagenge n minus 1 comparisons. Kyaunke loop repeat ho raha from 2 to n. 2 to n is number of uh, uh, n minus 1 times. Usi tarah worst case kab hoga when this comparison always fail. Matlab, when the elements are in decreasing order, like 100, 80, 70, 50, 40, 10, something like that. So, jab matlab ye hai ke, listen boys and girls, if this comparison fails, then only I come here. Right? So, I should make both comparisons. I, I should, per iteration of I, I should make both comparisons. So, per, per iteration, I am making two comparisons. Total iterations are n minus 1. So therefore, total number of comparisons are 2 into n minus 1. Ye dono ke liye aap order of n hoga time. Isi tarah. Isi tarah hum ek average case bhi define karenge yaha par. And let me see how many of you can understand and tell average case. Average case kaise hoga? Suppose average if I consider like the first comparison fails. Here I am writing. First comparison fails on an average fails on an average for half of given elements with equal probability of given elements. This is average I am defining. I am defining average like this. So for this definition can anybody work out and tell what will be the number of comparisons involved when first comparison fails, first comparison, here I am writing first comparison fails for Half of the given elements. So, kya value aayegi number of comparisons ki kya aap bata ke bolenge? Can you tell me? What will be the number of comparisons required in the average case when first comparison fails for half of given elements? Let me see who will answer this question. That was a great question also. Anybody? 3 by 2 into n minus 1, Sritam Swain, common answer. Bhagavadari, you are saying n minus 1, n minus 1 to best hai. Average usse balke hona chahiye. 2 into n minus 1, worst hai. Average utna nahi hona chahiye. Sonchi aap. Thoda focus ki jiye. No? Kadir, you are wrong. What will be the answer? Logical learner, no, I hope you are trying to remember the answers. No, it is not correct. You have to solve. I am making a slight change here. It is very simple. Check here on board. Whether this first comparison is true or false. Look at this. Whether the first comparison is true or false. आप इसे कितने बार करोगे हमेशा आप इसे n minus one times करोगे so you are going to make first comparison n minus one times whether it is true or false whether it is true or false n minus one times करोगे आप 
ठीक है एन माइनस वन टाइम्स हाँ सेकेंड कंपैरिजन आप तभी बनाओगे सेकेंड कंपैरिजन जब ही आप करोगे व्हेन फर्स्ट कंपैरिजन इज फॉल्स ठीक है जब फर्स्ट कंपैरिजन फॉल्स होगा तभी आप सेकेंड कंपैरिजन पे आओगे और यहां पे कंडीशन में दिया गया है फर्स्ट कंपैरिजन फेल्स ऑन एन एवरेज फॉर हाफ ऑफ गिवन एलिमेंट गिवन एलिमेंट है एन हाफ मतलब एन बाई मतलब एन बाई टाइम्स आउट ऑफ एन माइनस वन लुसिन लुसिन आउट ऑफ एन माइनस n by 2 times this comparison is going to be failing means i will come and make this comparison that means plus n by 2 so this will become 3 n by 2 minus 1 is average is average 3 n by 2 minus 1 so therefore this is worst best average if you take all these time complexity will be order of n chaliye ye to ho gaya non divide and conquer ab hum dekhenge सेम एल्गोरिथम सेम प्रॉब्लम हाउ आर वी गोइंग टू सॉल्व यूजिंग डिवाइड एंड कॉन्कर उसके लिए माई विल टेक एन अरे फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट से वी हैव सम एलिमेंट्स हियर 23, 15, 0, राइट एंड लेट से 12 एंड 25, लेट से 80, 72. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more element we'll take. Uh, let's say, for example, minus two, something like this. There are nine elements in the array. I've taken nine elements. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I want to find the largest and smallest. So instead of showing the algorithm directly, first I will project in the form of a tree structure. How does the problem look like? This is my problem instance which I am solving. I am right now solving for this. I right now I am solving for this. So my lower limit of the array is one. Upper limit is nine. I want to find final max. F max is final max. F min is final min. I want to find this. So first, we decide to decide that when shall we consider this problem to be small and when shall we consider this problem to be large. Look, if in my list there is only one element or two elements, then I can find the largest and smallest with zero comparison or one comparison. तो लिस्ट की साइज वन और टू होने तक वी विल कंसीडर इट टू बी लार्ज अदरवाइज इफ इट इज वन और टू एलिमेंट्स देन इट इज स्मॉल अभी मेरी लिस्ट में नाइन एलिमेंट्स है तो इट इज लार्ज सो आई विल डिवाइड अबाउट मिड पोजीशन मिड ऑफ वन प्लस नाइन बाई टू इज फाइव मतलब मेरा लेफ्ट सब प्रॉब्लम हो जाएगा फ्रॉम वन टू फाइव और राइट सब प्रॉब्लम बन जाएगा फ्रॉम सिक्स टू नाइन हम यहां पर लिख लेंगे जी मैक्स और जी मिन is the maximum and minimum of my left sub problem and let's say like like that h max and h min is my maximum and minimum of my right sub problem abhi hame pata nahi hai lekin jab aa ha jab mujhe g max g min mil jayega h max h min mil jayega my final max will be maximum of g max h max final min will be minimum of g min h min two comparison se mujhe maximum aur minimum mil jayega jab mujhe max aur min ki value pata ho jayegi abhi to mujhe pata nahi hai hum work out karenge और एक रिकर्सिव कॉल करेंगे ये फंक्शन को प्रॉब्लम इज लार्ज क्योंकि फाइव एलिमेंट है इट गेट डिवाइडेड अबाउट थ्री तो मेरा सबसेट हो जाएगा वन टू थ्री और यहां पर बन जाएगा माय प्रॉब्लम फोर टू फाइव लिस्ट विथ थ्री एलिमेंट्स इज लार्ज इसे भी हम डिवाइड कर देंगे अबाउट पोजिशन टू वन प्लस थ्री बाई टू तो ये डिविजन जाएगा वन टू टू थ्री टू थ्री ठीक है अब लिस्ट विथ टू एलिमेंट्स फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड सो बोथ आई मीन दिस इज स्मॉल तो इसका लार्जेस्ट और स्मॉलेस्ट हम दूसरे इंक से लिख देंगे अमंग दीज टू लार्जेस्ट इज 23 एंड स्मॉलेस्ट इज 15 सो 23 एंड 15 इज द रिजल्ट ऑफ दिस तो एक कंपैरिजन से मैंने ये प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व की दूसरा प्रॉब्लम लिस्ट विथ ओनली वन एलिमेंट थर्ड एलिमेंट दैट इट सेल्फ इज लार्जेस्ट एंड स्मॉलेस्ट जीरो कंपेरिजन से मैंने प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व की अब मैं ये दोनों के रिजल्ट को कंबाइन कर रहा हूं विथ टू कंपेरिजन एंड रिटर्न द रिजल्ट ऑफ इट्स पेरेंट ठीक है तो ट्वेंटी एंड जीरो का मैक्सिमम होगा ट्वेंटी 15 और 0 का मिनिमम होगा 0 मेरा सोल्यूशन आ गया तो ये एक्टिवेशन रिकॉर्ड हम स्टैक से पॉप कर देंगे और ये एक्टिवेशन रिकॉर्ड पुश कर देंगे नेक्स्ट लिस्ट विथ टू एलिमेंट्स इज ऑलरेडी स्मॉल 4 एंड 5 4 एंड 5 देखिए आप सो so 12 इज लार्जेस्ट 12 इज लार्जर एंड माइनस फाइव इज स्मॉलर ठीक है सो दिस प्रॉब्लम इज सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इज सॉल्व आप ये दोनों को कंबाइन कर लीजिए इसका रिजल्ट आएगा जी मैक्स का 23 एंड 12 का मैक्सिमम होगा 
और जीरो और माइनस फाइव का मिनिमम होगा माइनस फाइव उसी तरह हमें राइट हैंड साइड पर वर्क करना होगा राइट इन द सेम डायमेंशन इन द सेम वे तो दिस इज आल्सो लार्ज डिवीजन विल टेक प्लेस अबाउट सिक्स प्लस नाइन फिफ्टीन बाई टू मतलब सेवन तो सिक्स टू सेवन एट एंड नाइन बोथ आर स्मॉलर प्रॉब्लम सिक्स टू सेवन लार्जर इज एटी स्मॉलर इज ट्वेंटी फाइव राइट ठीक है एटी ट्वेंटी फाइव उसी तरह एट एंड नाइन का लार्जर है सेवेंटी टू एंड माइनस टू कंबाइनिंग द रिजल्ट ऑफ दीज टू टू गेट एच मैक्स एच मैक्स की वैल्यू होगी एटी एच मिन की वैल्यू होगी माइनस टू द फर्स्ट कॉल ऑफ डिवाइड इज द लास्ट कॉल ऑफ मर्च सो कंबाइनिंग द रिजल्ट ऑफ द लास्ट कॉल ऑफ मर्च राइट सो जी मैक्स एंड एच मैक्स मैक्सिमम इज एटी एफ मैक्स मिनिमम ऑफ दीज टू एफ माइनस फाइव इज द रिजल्ट ऑफ दिस इज अ प्रोसीजर ऑफ सॉल्विंग मैक्सिमम यूजिंग डिवाइड एंड कॉन्कर उसका एल्गोरिथम भी यहां पर डिस्क्राइब है आप देख सकते हो फॉर यूर कन्वीनियंस है लुक ऑन बोर्ड देखिए आप मैक्समिन आई जे आई एंड जे आर द डेलीमीटर्स वन एंड टेन वन एंड एन मैक्स एंड मिन इफ आई इज इक्वल टू जे लिस्ट है वन एलिमेंट देन मैक्स एंड मिन बोथ आर एफ आई इफ आई इज इक्वल टू जे माइनस वन लिस्ट हैज टू एलिमेंट्स राइट सो वी आर मेकिंग वन कंपेरिजन हियर इफ ए ऑफ आई लेस देन ए ऑफ जे मैक्स इज दिस मीन इज दिस अदरवाइज वर्ना मतलब प्रॉब्लम इज नॉट हैविंग वन एलिमेंट और टू एलिमेंट्स फिर हम यहाँ पे मिडिल एलिमेंट फाइंड कर रहे हैं मेकिंग द फर्स्ट कॉल टू मैक्स मिन लेफ्ट प्रॉब्लम मैक्स मिन राइट सब प्रॉब्लम यहाँ पर हम कंबाइन कर रहे हैं रिजल्ट राइट इफ मैक्स इज लेस देन मैक्स वन देन मैक्स इज इक्वल टू मैक्स वन अदरवाइज मीन एज सिंपल एज दैट अब पॉइंट ये है कि नंबर ऑफ यहाँ पर डिटर्मिन करना है वॉट इज द नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट कंपेरिजन इन्वॉल्व इन डिवाइड एंड कॉन्कर नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट एलिमेंट कंपेरिजन For divide and conquer max min working with n elements. यहां पर start मैं करूंगा आप finish करोगे इसे T of n is equal to very interesting. Please follow. T of n is equal to zero comparison if I have list with one element. T of n is equal to one comparison if I have list with two elements. This is the problem being small. क्या आप मुझे chat box में लिख के बताएंगे equation क्या होगा on the right hand side? what will be the equation on the right hand side if there are more than one elements in the list n is greater than 2 kya likhenge hum yahan par kya likhenge come on boys and girls write down the recurrence because i believe that tomorrow in the exam aisa ho sakta hai exam mein aage ki aapko ek problem diya jayega uska procedure describe kiya jayega aur uske basis par aapko question ye pucha jayega ki ye procedure agar divide and conquer se आप सॉल्व कर रहे हो तो इसका टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी या एलिमेंट कंपैरिजन का रिकरेंस क्या होगा फोर ऑप्शन दिए जाएंगे यू नीड टू फिल अप एग्जैक्टली वही पूछ रहा हूं मैं आपको व्हाट विल बी द रिकरेंस फॉर सॉल्विंग डिवाइड एंड कॉन्कर मैक्समिन टू मेजर द नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट कंपेरिजन माई टाइम नहीं पूछ रहा हूं यहां पर नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट कंपेरिजन वॉट विल बी द इक्वेशन टी ऑफ एन इज नॉट रिप्रेजेंटिंग टाइम T of n is representing number of element comparison. So what will be T of n? Three times n, it cannot be like C. You have to clearly write because T of n is not the time. Ha, agar time bolay to, then uh, C is right. What you are telling is right. Number of element comparisons. Number of element comparisons. Kya hoga? It will become like C. We will work out. I mean, previous diagram se aap dekhiye. Yahan saman mein aa jayega. This L, this this size is n. टाइम आई मीन नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट कंपेरिजन वी आर कॉलिंग टी ऑफ एन और जब लार्ज होगा तो रफली वी आर डिवाइडिंग दिस बिकॉज आई ज्यूमिंग दैट एन इज वेरी 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 लार्ज सो दिस विल बी रफली एन बाई टू दिस विल बी एन बाई टू सो नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट कंपेरिजन नीडेड टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम विल बी टी ऑफ एन बाई टू द नंबर ऑफ सब एलिमेंट कंपेरिजन नीडेड टू सॉल्व दिस विल बी टी ऑफ एन बाई टू ठीक है मतलब ये हुआ विथ टी एन बाई टू यू गेट जी मैक्स जी मिन विथ टी एन बाई टू यू गेट एच मैक्स एच मिन उसके बाद आपको और दो कंपैरिजन चाहिए टू गेट एफ मैक्स एफ मिन क्यों मैक्स ऑफ जी मैक्स एच मैक्स वन कंपैरिजन मिन ऑफ जी मिन एच मिन वन अदर कंपैरिजन तभी आपका एफ मैक्स और एफ मिन आएगा तो मतलब यह हुआ कि आपका इक्वेशन जो बन जाएगा टू टी ऑफ एन बाई टू प्लस टू राइट दिस विल बी द केस दिस विल बी द केस वेन एन इज ग्रेटर देन टू जब आप ये इक्वेशन सॉल्व करोगे आई एम नॉट सॉल्विंग यूजिंग बैक सब्सिट्यूशन 
uh, very clearly you can solve with back substitution. You can write like 2 t of n is equal to 2 t of n by 2 plus 2. Lekin yaha par yehi batana chaar ho, my dear students, ye point aap yaad rakh lijiye. If you apply master method here, if you apply master method, you will get order of it. Aur mai yaha par order nahi pooch raha hoon. If you apply master method and take the order, directly you will get order of n. But my dear students, I am not asking you order here. I am asking you the value. The value of recurrence. When you evaluate, what will the final value come? So that you can compare that value with non-divide and conquer approaches. Non-divide and conquer approaches ke values kya the aap? Pichle dekhi aap. 2 into n minus 1, n minus 1, 3 n by 2 minus 1. Jab tak aapki value of recurrence na pata ho, aap comparison nahi kar sakte is. So, yahaan par, aapku emphasize ye kar raha ho ke compulsory you have to go with back substitution. So, jab back substitution karo ge, finding the value of t of n by 2, this will become 2 t of n by 4 plus 2. If you back substitute, you will write like 2 into right 2t of n by 4 plus 2 plus 2 if you expand it will become 4 into t of n by 4 plus sigma 2 power i i going from 1 to 2 2 power 1 plus 2 plus 2 so this can be written as 2 square t of n by 2 square plus sigma 2 power i this become my equation so if you generalize to a depth k i can write generic term as 2 power k into t of n by 2 power k plus sigma 2 power i, i going from 1 to k. So, later if you simplify this, simplify this, eliminate the recurrence and simplify, directly my upper answer likh raha aap ke liye, right? If you simplify, then you will get t of n as, you will get t of n, yaha par likh raha hai, finally, you will get t of n as 3n by 2 minus 2, 3n by 2 minus 2. And this 3n by 2 minus 2, is the number of element comparisons in all cases, in all cases, best case, average case, worst case. Elements are in increasing order, decreasing order or any order, the number of element comparisons will always be 3n by 2 minus 2. So, you compare kaisa karoge? 3n by 2 minus 2, 2 into n minus 1, this is greater, 3n by 2 minus 2 is lesser. n minus 1, but this is better, non-divide and conquer is better when the elements are in increasing order, because n minus 1 is less than 3n by 2 minus 2. 3n by 2 minus 1 is slightly better, I mean not, not slightly better, 3n by 2 minus 1 is slightly greater than 3n by 2 minus 2, that is better by one comparison. So therefore we say, therefore we say that divide and conquer approach is slightly better than non-divide and conquer approach in terms of number of element comparisons like kin. Agar aap time complexity ki baat karoge, both divide and conquer and non-divide and conquer sabhi ki time complexity rahegi order of n. Whether Divide and conquer or not divide and conquer. Sabhi ki time complexity, kyaunke jitne bhi equations aapne derive kiya 3n by 2 minus 2, 3n by 2 minus 1, n minus 1, 2 into n minus 1. If you take order of all these, it is order of n. Time mein koi farak nahi hai. Haan, lekin space complexity mein farak ho jayega. Non-divide and conquer method ki space complexity ek bar dekh lijiye aap yahan par. This is a non-divide and conquer. Iska space requirement agar aap dekh lenge, this is nothing but order of 1. Space is order of 1. Time is order of n. हमने अभी बोला ऑर्डर ऑफ एन स्पेस इज ऑर्डर ऑफ एन लेकिन अब एल्गोरिथम इसका देखिए आप दिस इज एल्गोरिथम इन फ्लो चार्ट फॉर्म और मे बी इन द रिकर्शन ट्री फॉर्म एंड दिस इज एल्गोरिथम इन रियल एल्गोरिथम सो बेस्ड ऑन दिस कैन यू प्लीज टेल मी व्हाट विल बी द स्पेस रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ डिवाइड एंड कॉन्कर मेथड स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी कम ऑन लास्ट पॉइंट बिफोर वी क्लोज व्हाट इज द स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑफ डिवाइड एंड कॉन्कर मेथड एस ऑफ एन Come on, what will be the space requirement of divide and conquer method? Anybody? Very simple. Using divide and conquer method, what is the space requirement for max min problem? Yes. What is the space requirement of divide and conquer? Three thumbs when n get easy saying log n Bhagwadari order of log n. Very clear, please. Order uh, Muhammad Asif, you cannot say order of n is a loose bound. 
आई वॉन्ट अम टू अटिक टाइट बाउंड मैथमेटिकली आपका इफ यू से ऑर्डर ऑफ एयर में भी करेक्ट बट नॉट एल्गोरथमिकली बिकॉज रिकर्शन डेप्थ आप देखेंगे ये इट इज ऑल्सो ग्रोइंग इन द सेम फैशन प्लीज ऑब्जर्व एन नेक्स्ट लेवल एन बाई टू नेक्स्ट लेवल एन बाई फोर नेक्स्ट लेवल एन बाई एट तो वट इज दिस रेट ऑफ ग्रोथ हमने ऑलरेडी कहा दिस इज नथिंग बट लॉग इन लेकिन आप यहां पर कंफ्यूज हो जाएंगे यू से सर देर आर टू रिकर्सिव कॉल नहीं पहले आप ये पुश करेंगे जब ये पॉप करेंगे तो फिर ये पुश होगा राइट इट इज नॉट टोटल नंबर ऑफ दिस आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस आपने डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स में रिकर्शन पढ़ा होगा हाउ इट रिकर्शन स्ट्रैक ग्रो एंड श्रिंक हाउ द रिकर्शन कॉल्स आर मेड पहले रिकर्सिव कॉल जाएगा वन नाइन देन वन फाइव देन वन थ्री देन वन टू उसके बाद आप वन टू पॉप करेंगे थ्री थ्री पुश करेंगे थ्री थ्री पॉप करेंगे वन थ्री पॉप करेंगे फिर फोर फाइव पुश करेंगे शायद आपने डेटा स्ट्रक्चर में रिकर्शन पढ़ा होगा आई एम अज्यूमिंग दैट राइट सो देर फोर दिस रिकर्शन डेप्थ इज लॉग इन लॉग इन सो देर फोर माई स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी इज ऑर्डर ऑफ लॉग इन तो हम बोलेंगे टाइम वाइज बोथ अप्रोचेस आर सेम टाइम वाइज बोथ अप्रोचेस आर सेम लेकिन स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी वाइज Divide and conquer method require order of log n space, whereas non-divide and conquer method require order of one space. ये है total performance comparison between both the approaches of divide and conquer and non-divide and conquer of the problem maximum. ठीक है? ये है. और एक भी problem हमें लेना था, लेकिन time नहीं है. We will continue in the next class. That we will nothing but right. Plus two for divide and conquer recurrence is for what purpose? Plus two. This plus two is basically for two comparisons. I said here. देखिए आप यहाँ पर. After getting G max, G min. See, understand. T of n is a total comparisons needed to get F max, F min, and that is done by solving this problem, this problem. To solve this problem, I need T of n by two number of comparisons. Means with T n by two comparisons, I get G max, G min. With T n by two comparisons, I get H max, H min. उसके बाद क्या करोगे आप? Finally. एफ मैक्स इज वॉट एफ मैक्स इज यहां पर लिखेंगे हम एफ मैक्स इज मैक्सिम ऑफ जी मैक्स एंड एच मैक्स उसी तरह एफ मिन इज मिनिमम ऑफ जी मिन एंड एच मिन ये दो कंपेरिजन लगेंगे ना दो कंपेरिजन लगेंगे तो वही दो कंपेरिजन हमने यहां लिखा इज टू कंपेरिजन और फॉर मर्जिंग मर्ज ऑपरेशन इज रिक्वायरिंग टू कंपेरिजन ठीक है तो दिस इज दी अप्रोच ऑफ सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम राइट डिवाइड एंड कॉन्कर मैक्स मिनट मीन सो नेक्स्ट क्लास आई विल डू लाइक दिस आई हैव दी डिवाइड एंड कॉन्कर कंटिन्यूइंग इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास आई विल टॉक अबाउट ए कपल ऑफ मोर प्रॉब्लम लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल मर्ज शॉर्ट लेंगे हम मर्ज शॉर्ट के बाद मैट्रिक्स मल्टीप्लीकेशन भी लेंगे एंड इफ टाइम परमिट्स आई विल ऑल्सो टॉक अबाउट लाइक बाइनर रिसर्च और फिर एक नया प्रॉब्लम है लॉन्ग इंटीजर मल्टीप्लीकेशन उसके बारे में भी मैं डिस्कस करूंगा इवन इफ आई डोंट बी एबल टू वर्क आउट द होल आई विल ट्राई माई लेवल बेस्ट वॉट एवर आई कैन डू आई विल डू फॉर योर बैच टू द मैक्सिमम पॉसिबल एक्सटेंड ठीक है लॉन्ग इंटीजर मल्टीप्लीकेशन भी डिस्क्राइब करूंगा क्या प्रॉब्लम है आप उसे वर्कआउट कर सकते हैं दैट इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग ओके तो थैंक यू वेरी मच राइट टेक केयर गुड नाइट थैंक यू